The year is 2011. Dr. Travis Metcalf, an astronomer at the National Center for Atmospheric Research, stared at the data coming in from the Kepler Space Telescope. It wasn't just another exoplanet. This one was different. He'd been studying the dying star PSR. J1719-1438, a pulsar spinning hundreds of times a second, when he noticed something orbiting it. Initially, they thought it was a small, rocky planet, perhaps like Earth, but the gravitational pull it exerted on the pulsar was immense for its size. The calculations didn't add up. Then, Metcalf's team started analyzing its density. It was so incredibly dense that it defied conventional planetary composition. It's too heavy for rock, too small for gas, he muttered to his colleague, who was now leaning over his shoulder. After weeks of rechecking, the conclusion was astounding. The object, roughly the size of Jupiter but 20 times denser, was not a typical planet. It was the leftover core of a star that had lost its outer layers to the pulsars, gravitational pull, a stellar remnant, and given its incredible density and the original star's composition, it could only be one thing. It's a diamond, Metcalf finally announced, a disbelieving grin spreading across his face. Out in the blackness of space, a mere 4,000 light years away, orbited a planet sized chunk of crystallized carbon, a true cosmic jewel, the biggest diamond ever discovered, a testament to the bizarre wonders the universe still held. The biggest diamond ever discovered.